Hello, my lovelies, and welcome back to Jade. So, let's talk about what's happening in life. A couple things have happened. I started my classes, and they're going well, and that's nice. In addition, um, all my writing is going pretty well, which I'm super excited about. And here's the great kicker. If I'm not mistaken, the new build of Jade is either about to come out or is already out, which is awesome for me because I can just go right back into recording Jade. No Ace Academy breaks. Or if people want Ace Academy breaks, I'll throw them, those in too. Because I like Ace Academy and I like being able to stretch Jade out, but I'm pretty sure most people would prefer it if, prefer it if I just threw all of my Ace Academy episodes out at once. And so this episode is going to be the week between, hopefully, the Ruby event and the Weiss event. I should have, um, Neo's not relevant if I go to social, nope, relationships. Oh, they're the, the same. I thought Ruby would be one more. That's odd. Huh. But, we're going to go right back into Jade. Classes and everything's going well. My sickness has passed. I've got a little bit of a, um... Runny nose and consequently a little bit of snot in my throat, but that's completely unrelated to me being sick before. So, yeah, yep, I have to get to class. Events still to be added. Grim Knowledge plus five. If I click on the dorm. Nope. What if I click on the library? Nope. The gym? Um, let me plug my controller in so I can use the little cheat I think Colin told me about. I think it was him. If you use a video game controller, you can actually use the left trigger to go back. All right, what about the mess? Jack, I'm pretty sure that's how you get the Coco event. Um, amphitheater is training with Pira. Ospin's office. Nope, still doesn't have a function. Allie? Oh, I don't want to hit that. Main Street? Um. Nothing there, I guess. Bookshop? Nothing right now. Dust shop. Nothing right now. Okay, so we'll try. Amphitheater? Hmm. All right. At night, what is there? Dorm? Oh, I bet you this is how I get the Weiss event. I wonder what the fallout of our sudden disappearance was in Beacon. <laughs> bet you this is it. Our whole team disappeared overnight, and Evelyn was already gone for a couple days on her own. Someone was bound to guess that something was wrong, especially the people closest to us. I'm about to cough. <coughs> oh, my apologies. I wonder if Weiss was w Wilson? For all my family's dust, I finally found you. Oh, hi Weiss. Don't you hi Weiss me? Don't you know how worried I was? No, no I don't. Well, I was very worried. After Ruby, you were the person I was worried about the most. I wasn't the one in danger. You went on a near suicide mission to one of the most dangerous places on the continent. If that's not being in danger, I don't know what is. Probably continuing this line of conversation. Just apologize, dude. She's completely in the right here. I'm sorry, Weiss. There you go. It's just that, well... At the moment, focusing on the matter at hand was all I could do to keep from losing it. And even if I thought about telling someone else, I couldn't have told them everything. So, you don't feel you can trust me? Is that it? I don't feel I can trust Weiss? Trust her with my secrets? I'm sorry, I, I didn't want to put you on the spot like that. I mean, I just thought... No, Weiss, it's not. 
I understand. I mean, we like each other, but trust is something else entirely, no? And I can be pretty. Weiss, I trust you. <laughs> you do? Yes. But why? Because of your pride. I, I don't understand. You put your pride above everything in your life. You're proud of your skills. You're proud of your name. You're proud of your looks and want to be given the respect you deserve for it. It's the ultimate sin. Except, there's one thing that you don't put your pride above. Other people. To not make Ruby sad, you resorted to lying and omission. You apologized to Jack for something that wasn't your doing, but that you feel responsible for because of the name you wear so proudly. So, if you can go as far as to tarnish that pride for the sake of others, I don't think I can't trust you, Weiss. That paints me as a better person than I really am. I respectfully disagree. Anyways, what I meant is, it's not just my secrets that were involved with this matter. And while I want to trust you with mine, I can't do that for those of others. And I won't ask you to. I know. So, should we go? Huh? Where? Somewhere more private? You mean you want to right now? No time like the present, unless you don't want to? No, please, I... I'm honored. Hmm, I think that's the gist of it. You were born from a meteor... It's a lot to take in, I know. That's, I mean, it is, but I hope you're not jealous because Ruby got to know about it first. I didn't make her sneak on the airship. That's, that's not it either. What is it then? Wilson, how, how old are you exactly? Yes! 117 days. Huh. Now that's a question. I never really thought about it. I figured, but Wilson, if we were born just a few days before the start of the second semester... Let's see, 127 plus... You... You're not even a year old! Oh, there's... There's a term from Vampire the Masquerade I think I'll steal. His apparent age is 17. Even if his actual age is 117. His apparent age is 17. And he's mentally 17. And before anyone says anything about, like, you think you're mentally older than you are, you're not. His body was made at the age of a 17-year-old. Well, technically, but... Oh, no, 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 no. This, this is all wrong. Weiss, what's wrong? Why are you... I, I can't. I just can't. <laughs> Deja vu much? This is the second time she runs from me. What's up with her now? She feels like she's manipulating you. It's a fairly common problem with older people dating younger people. I think. And more often than not, it's because older people actually are manipulating younger people. Once you're like 21 is what I'm gonna say, you're like mentally capable of like defending yourself and being able to discern, you know, is this older person actually interested me in me or not? Yeah, once you're in your 20s, sleep and date with whoever you want. But like, him being a year old, Weiss probably feels wrong, is what I'm guessing. Tuesday, day 128, let's go to class. Anything in the dorm? Weiss has been avoiding me. <laughs> Seriously, why? This makes no sense. She feels uncomfortable, dude. She's not even answering her phone or any messages. She's really, really upset about this, but I can't understand why. Ow, son of a... Colorful language, Mr. D. Cabigas? What? <laughs> Professor Peach? Owie. 
I've always found the fact that Aura doesn't protect us from acts of stupidity inflicted self-harm extremely fascinating. It's a part of the soul. So, what caused you to think that punching an iron lamp post was a good idea, Mr. D. Cavigas? Girl problems. Oh, I'll confess it was my first guess. I love you, Professor Peach. Really? I've been a king too, Mr. D. Cavigas. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a teen, aren't I? Um, yeah? I mean, your origins are a bit off-kilter, but it sounds like a duck. Why can't she see that? <laughs> Alright, I'm going to need some background here, Mr. D. Cabigas. <laughs> hmm. I see what happened. This is just so stupid. Alright, I'm technically a baby, but I'm a teen mentally. And physically, that's the important part. The and physically part. That's the one that matters. I like girls and I like her. Um, what am I going to say? Blech. Did I want to say? Yeah, the and physically part. Like, that's what matters. Mentally, sure, okay, but physically, how grown up you are, super matters. Even though Bella's technically an adult, no, stop it. I don't want to see the R34 of her. <coughs> Although there is <coughs> R34 of her as an adult, which, you know, if that's what you want to do, fucking age someone up. Once they're in their 20s, who gives a shit? Hmm. What am I supposed to do? Wait until I'm anagraphically of age to start dating? I fight, drink, and kill, but I can't. Wait, it's not even me. It's them who would be. Ah, this is ridiculous. I don't even have a birth certificate anywhere. You don't. You're a very special case, Mr. D. Kibikis, but I can assure you there's no way any girl would get in trouble for loving you. Then why did you run away? <laughs> why doesn't she want to talk to me anymore? She feels guilty. Wilson, don't be so down. There's a very simple explanation for everything. <laughs> Is there? Think about it carefully. There's already a precedent of Weiss running from you, right? So we can assume she's a person who can easily get overwhelmed by things outside of her comfort zone. Yeah, I guess so. But we also know that she's smart, so she should ha so she should have no problem rationalizing this problem and come to our same conclusion. No, that's what I'm saying. And yet, we also know that she's prideful yet mindful of other people's feelings. So considering all those characteristics and the context of her sa second case. Of the fleas, such a good way of putting running away, a case of the fleas, I love you, Professor Peach, why do you think she doesn't want to show her face to you? Oh, Weiss, you silly. Thank you, Professor Peach, thank you. He might have put it together, but I sure as shit haven't. It was my pleasure. Weiss, get out of there. Weiss, get out of there. No. Come on, Eris. There is, this is more of a ruby move. Quit the comforter already. I'm staying right here. So you're going to limit your presence outside of our dorm room to only strictly necessary ones and spend the rest of the time moping in your bed? Why, Blake, thank you for that delightfully conscious summary of my current situation. No, I hit the right-click button again. Or the mouse wheel. Mace, whatever you think you've done to Wilson that's so terrible, can't you just apologize? 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 How can I apologize for being such a stupid bint? I don't know what bint means. Whoa there, don't you think that's a bit... Did she mean bitch? You know what? You know what? B-I-N-T, Google, what does it mean? Uh, Urban Dictionary. Oh, okay, slang for a whore or a bitch. Yep, she just means bitch. Let's get back into Jade. 
Whoa there, don't you think that's a bit? He had literally just declared that he trusts me with secrets, and the next minute, the moment he, so he reveals something a bit extravagant about himself, what do I do? What do I do? I ran. I ran away. I ran away away from him like he had just contracted some sort of highly contagious flesh-eating bacterial infection. Man, this feels like more of a Blake move. The imagery. That's a bit bad, I guess. Yeah, man, Blake feels super guilty of the three of them. Why, that's even more of a reason why you should apologize, or he may start thinking you actually meant it. Better, let him forget me and go back to his two sexier and nicer girlfriends, who most certainly do not run at the first sign of actually having to put an effort into a relationship. Twice. Twice! What if he comes looking for you? He won't, and he shouldn't. Just tell him to go away. <laughs> Aww. Anything at dormitory? Nope. Anything at the classroom at night? Nope. Amphitheater? Nope. Uh, library? Nope. Mess? Nope. Fail City? Alley? Nope. Main Street? Nope. Bookshop? And dust shop, I guess we'll work a bit. Class. Yeah, okay, event's still to be added. Dorm? Nope. All right, I think this means we have the event. Um, let's hope that's the case. Alley, Main Street, Well, I hope you guys can't hear that, because that's the sound of an army of geese moving past my house. Nothing right now. Yeah, okay. Um, I think we've gotten it then. Let's train our art a little bit. And then let's go to the gym and get some more training in. Classroom, gym, toughness, gym, get some more training in. Strength, let's hope that I have done this correctly. Gym, some more training in, strength. I've waited a few more days, but Weiss hasn't contacted me yet. <laughs> oh, I left the matter alone. I left the matter alone long enough, Weiss. And you still haven't come forward. I've left you to wallow in your own misery long enough. I'm coming for you, Weiss Schnee. You forgot the second E, dude. Morning, Wilson. That's a very determined look on your face. What are you up to? Trying to get Weiss to speak to me again. Oh, so she was actively avoiding you? Yeah, for the stupidest of reasons. Good luck, then. Maybe you could also take the opportunity to talk to her about stealing prospects? Hmm, I think I'd rather first solve this matter then have all four of us sit at a table and discuss it. Sounds like a plan. Go get her. <sighs> what? Who knocks like that this early in the m- Weiss, I know you're in there. All right, that makes sense. No! Really? Hiding again? Yes! Weiss, he's outside our door. You can't avoid him forever. I can certainly try. Come on, Weiss. You're going to make him stand out there for a... Weiss, if you don't come out in five minutes, I'm coming in. Even if I break down the door... Aw, oh, that's so romantic. <laughs> that's so clingy and stalkerish. I guess he knows what she's what's going through her head, so not as much, but No, it's not. It's property damage. 
for love, though. What do you know about love? Probably more than the girl who's hiding in her bed. Can't just make him go away. Might as well play the bad guy all the way to the end. Ah, <sighs> sure, I guess. Hey, Wilson. Hey, Yang. Is Weiss in? Yes. What traitor! I told you to make him go away. But you didn't could tell me I couldn't tell him you were in. All right, thanks. So could I come in? Eh, I don't know, D-Man. She did ask me to make you go away, so I can't just let you in like that. I see. Then I guess I'll have to... Could you please get out of the way? Well, since you asked so nicely, sure. I love that they threw in a nice little event. Now, I have to go back and see what happens if you click bribe her. What? I think I'll go take a walk now. Have fun. You filthy mercenary. Blake, you're up. Am I? Yes, you are. Oh, fine. I feel you, Blake. Wilson. Blake, so you're the next guardian of the tower? Please, I'm obviously the ninja courtesan. Do you mean courtier? No, she means courtesan. I just don't know what that word means. Okay. So I guess I'll have to... So, would you like me to get you a copy of the Ninjas of Love 3 signed by the author? You're bluffing. Maybe I am, maybe I'm not. Are you willing to take that risk over this? No, okay then, she's all yours. Are my desires worth that little you? No, Ruby, make him go away, please, partner. Don't worry, Weiss, I'll be sure to act in your best interests. Ha, Ruby's not even gonna do anything. She, she's just gonna walk away. That was weirdly worded. Hey, Wilson. Hey, Ruby. Don't suppose I can bribe you with strawberries? This is my very distraught partner and best we're talking on here. You won't be able to convince me to leave her to the wolves just like that? I knew I could count on you. All right, what about I... Tell the truth or be completely honest. These mean the same. I miss her, Ruby. You... you do? Huh? I understand what happened. I won't lie, it did hurt a bit to see her run from me at the time. But still more than that, I miss having her talk to me. And look at me, smile at me, and that little glint in her eye whenever we talk about dust, and how she lights up whenever we bring up Professor Peach. <laughs> she grows on you, doesn't she? Yeah, so please, Ruby, let me talk to her. Oh no, not the power of love. <laughs> I, I can't withstand it, the pain. Um, Ruby, I appreciate the schadenfreude, but maybe tone it down? <laughs> I'm melting, I'm melting. All right then. I carefully step over the flopping Ruby and open the door to their dorm room. It's not an apartment. Weiss? I got no answer. She's obviously in that top bunk. That's No, that's Ruby's bunk. Um, tops are Ruby and Blake. And the bottoms are Yang and Weiss. Right? I get no answer, but it's pretty hard to miss the curiously misshaped bump in one of the bottom beds of the bunks. Yeah, okay, she wasn't... Her bunk, the sick one that I was just in earlier. <laughs> Are you really going to make me come unwrap you? Okay, then. Why are you hiding in bed, completely dressed? <laughs> Because I wanted to come see you, I wanted to go apologize, but, God. 
But every time I almost made up my mind, that scene would flash through my mind again, and and I'd get scared, thinking, what if he doesn't forgive me? And in the end, I just made it worse, didn't I? A bit. Weiss, are you sorry for what happened? Yes, for everything. I'm truly, deeply sorry. And do you still... Yes, yes, so much. Good enough for me then. What, what are you? Smooch! Aww. She is crying and everything. If I, oh, I don't have to tone this down a little bit. This is not a secret. My first kiss was ironically enough. Fairly similar. I don't even remember if it's the girl's name, but I was completely rambling and panicking and having like no idea what was going on. She just wanted to shut me up, and so she just grabbed me. It was like I was like, Ugh. okay. And then we dated for three days, and then she dumped me. Yeah, that that was my first kiss. Anything like you had imagined it? No, nothing's like I had imagined it. The kiss, the situation, you. I've always had plans, things I wanted to do, ways I wanted to get there, but I could never ever plan for you. Does it scare you? A bit. Aww. Aww. But not enough to let you go. You're with Weiss Schnee. Bum, 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 bum. And I think that's the end of the game. Or the end of what currently exists. Yep. There's a little line of dialogue I never showed you guys. That's my nose just going, I hope you enjoyed. I hope to see you next time. Have a good day. You know, the usual. But it's, it's got no picture stuff attached with it. It's just him like, play the next pill, because this game is good. And I'm like, yeah, you are correct. This game is good. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. I'll leave you off here at the title screen. And I hope to see you next time. Have a good day.